I'm Jeffrey Dreisbach, and I'm in Burlington, Vermont. Today, I'm gonna make this really cool tree art plant stand. So this is my twig shop. The first thing I do when I'm going to make my tree art plan stand is I have to find the perfect piece of wood. I found my perfect piece of maple branch. It's got great lines. It's gonna be easy to peel. I need the shelves to go on it. To make the shelves, all I have to do is just cut them from a log. Here's my log, and now the chainsaw. Safety first. Now I'm ready. All my pieces are now cut, my three shelves and my base. The thing to do next is to start peeling it. This is my secret weapon. I call it the draw horse, and I use it to peel my twigs. I made this myself. I push with my feet, and it grips the wood. Now I can take my draw knife and peel. I'm gonna use a linoleum cutter. It's a great tool for doing all the little detail work I need to do. When I find a stick, I need to let it dry, usually about a year before I can use it. Now that I've finished peeling the stick, I need to peel the shelves. This can be a little time consuming, but the results are well worth it. I've always loved woodworking, even as a kid, coming from a large family. The best thing I could do was to get away from my family members and go out into the woods. And then the woodworking just sort of fell into place. The next stage of my project is the sanding. I use three different kinds of sanders. My homemade drum sander, my disc sander, and I also use what's called an angle grinder with a sanding pad attached. Nice and smooth, and now I've got to do the shelves. The disc sander is great for the shelves because it gives a nice, smooth edge. You can see a lot of variations in the wood, and it also makes it smooth on top. Once I sand all of my shelves, I take everything to the angle grinder. It does a nice, clean finish. time to make the pegs. I will use my secret weapon. I call it Big Bertha. It's actually a tenon maker. It spins around like a pencil sharpener and makes a perfect peg on each of the ends of the branch. I made pegs in two of the branch arm. The third arm requires a slightly different size hole. Now I need to change my drill bit so that I can put my holes in my pieces and finish it all up. I like using Forstner bits. They make a nice, clean hole so that I can put my shelves on top of my branch. The last step is to drill a slightly larger hole so that the base can fit. Here we go. This is great. This I'm gonna have to re-drill. I'm going to drill at a slight angle to correspond with the angle of the branch. Perfect. And this I'm gonna glue just like that. My last embellishment is taking a piece of wild mountain laurel. 
and putting it in. I'm ready to assemble the entire project. I use basic wood glue. It's the best thing I've ever found. I wipe off the excess glue, and then I let the whole thing try for about 24 hours. My piece is dry, it's now ready for the finish. I use a 50-50 mixture of linseed oil and turpentine. The linseed oil brings out the beautiful color of the wood, and then the turpentine actually soaks it in, so it makes a great combination. My tree art plant stand is now done. All it needs is the plants. Me and wood, we're like this. I love it. Talk to me, baby.